Right guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always. My god, how deep can his voice go? He sounds almost like... Who's got the most badass voice in Tekken? Is it Miguel? Is it Alisa? Well, I sound like that character. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but, hoping you're all doing awesome, and we've got some really horrible news. Horrible news! Green Arcade, the legendary arcade in Seoul, Korea, has closed down due to lack of funding, I think it was. We've been, uh, diff people have been giving different uh, excuses or uh, reasons for it closing down, but it seems to be lack of funding. Uh, we're gonna get into this in a while, uh, in a bit, but it's, uh, it's just extremely sad news. Most of you probably don't even know, maybe, what Green Arcade is, because uh, people don't really play a whole lot on arcades anymore. <laughs> Hence it closes down, but uh, me, you know, I've been playing Tekken for a million years. I was there running with the dinosaurs. I, I was with Moses when he divided the Red Sea, and I started playing Tekken with Tekken 1. The only one I've ever met who's been playing Tekken longer than me is Kurokuro, Kuro, big Japanese streamer, who said, I've been playing since Tekken 1 location test, and I, you know, I can't beat that. And he loves saying that as well, that's a big bragging point. But uh, what Green Arcade was, was the home of the best Tekken players in the world for the longest time. Every, I, I think it's like 20 years back, this Tekken-centered arcade was where you would find Ni, Nin, um, Kudans, uh, Jimun Ace, every single top player would play at this arcade. And Tekken players from all around the world, who were nerdy enough, would travel to this arcade, meet these players, and try to learn Tekken from the very best. This really was the mecca when it comes to Tekken, you know. Uh, but it has closed down due, due to lack of funding. Ni has been very vocal about this, he's very sad, and you can understand why. Uh, and he said that uh, Green Arcade actually didn't get the Season 2 updates. So Season 2 that was released on the 6th of September, this arcade didn't upgrade uh, to have that, and they did not even have the DLC characters at the arcades. And uh, this started some gossiping on Twitter, and Michael Murray himself from uh, Bandai Namco went out and said that, unfortunately, there's just a lack of funding on Bandai Namco's part to even have an incentive, you know, to... Uh, make uh, the update, be able to translate the Season 2 update to the arcades, because there's just no incentive. No one plays on the arcades, there's too little revenue from that. So there, there's no reason to even update the arcades. So in this day and age, you know, where Tekken finally has uh, DLCs, a lot of DLC content, you understand that the arcades are fucked. Because on console, people play 40... Pay oh no, no, no. Let's watch that again. People play 40, pay 40 bucks and then they own the game on arcades. The Koreans say they play, they pay 40 bucks per week to play the game. You know, and I'm just getting a sub, lovely. Um, so what, when you when you pay 40 bucks and you own the game and you're getting additional content that never hits the arcades, suddenly arcades. I mean, how are you gonna survive, you know, when the console versions are cheaper, of course, and they give you more content? It's just a no-brainer. And uh, also very sad is that, for some reason, the arcade, the arcade foreclosure, and I guess the door was left open because people have been pillaging the arcade and looting. People have been stealing levers and parts from the machines. And Ni actually wrote, wrote on Twitter, and this is super sad, and it's... What a travesty. What? Because of my overseas trip, I can't go to Green Arcade, and I'm told someone took my trophies and medals displayed there. LOL, I'll be back on Monday, and the earliest, and uh, it'll all be gone. Wow, I feel empty. I just can't believe this. Uh, those of you who don't know, there was a section at Green Arcade behind glass shelves with uh, very notable trophies, even EVO trophies were displayed here. From me and many other players, you know, medals and stuff that 
I mean, not only has to have like a huge sentimental value for the players involved and the community, but could actually be worth something as well. I think, you know, I'm not an expert, but so all of that has been pillaged and looted and uh, it's just disgusting behavior. Um, but this is a huge blow to the Tekken community. Uh, the Tekken mecha is kind of gone, you know. This is where Swedish player Maximilian, where he spent two, three years every day uh, during 2007, I think it was, 2008, and just recorded uh, pro matches of Tekken. Uh, it, uh, yeah, it just feels like a little part of your Tekken heart has just uh, died. Uh, yeah, it, it really sucks. Um, but yeah, I think that was uh, what I had to say about that. Uh, the, ar the arcade was owned by, from what I understand, an elderly couple. Uh, well, that ret were about to retire anyway, I think. Who were referred to as mom and dad are green or something. Uh, and uh, they had a very personal bond to all the top players, so I think me being upset about Green Arcade closing is not only about losing this environment and all of the memories and the community, but also the bond he had to the owners of the arcade, from what I hear, who were super pleasant, you know, and just loved everybody like sons. Uh, so it, it really sucks. But uh, yeah, over and out.